What is up guys and welcome back to an episode of my F123 Mobile Racing Crew. We're here for episode number six today and for the Austrian Grand Prix in season two. If you guys did miss the previous episode, the opener of season two at the Spanish Grand Prix, definitely be sure to go check that one out before you see this one. A very entertaining episode. Unfortunately only coming home in P8, but it's still a strong result then for our new team here. But anyways then we are here for the Austrian Grand Prix. Hopefully we have some decent paces around here. Last time we were here in Austria, I remember we were here for the finale of season one. So we actually had some decent success around this circuit then. So we'll see how that ends up. Perez, Alonso, Leclerc, Verstappen, Sainz, Russell, Stroll, Hamilton, Ocon, and Gasly completely top two. Bottas up there in P11. So a decent marker for us to try and hit. But we did qualify P9 at Spain. So we do have a decent marker to pace off of here. TRS wide open as we make our way then down towards turn one. Down to third gear. Could that Apex get a good run out of there? The AI are a little bit weaker at Austria compared to some other circuits, so hopefully we can use this to our advantage and try to gain some uh, crucial points here in the championship. I don't think we'll be fighting for a championship in an Alfa Romeo, but we could be fighting for some crucial constructor points championships. Constructor championship. But I can, apparently I can't speak my English today. Uh, but uh, anyways, making our way towards turn four here. Looking pretty good so far. The DRS working pretty powerful, and the Ferrari engine. Again, each car has their unique uh, engine supplier sound, which I find actually very fun. I like. I do actually kind of enjoy that new little feature here. Taking the car through these corners again. The car a little bit reluctant to turn in. Would you said a green second second though? So a bit of a flash of pace from us. Hopefully that'll turn into a decent group position in the end, but we got two more corners to negotiate before we can even think about that here through turn 9 and now through turn 10, keeping it nice and tidy on the white lines here, open DRS here as we make our way towards the line, we opened it a little bit too early that we tapped on the brakes, so that might compromise just a little bit here, we get our time and it's actually going to be good enough again for P9 again, uh, between Hamilton and Alcon, we do all qualify Bottas once again here, but surprise at P9, hopefully we'll have a better result than last race. Uh, when we technically only moved up one position here. So let's go to the grid then. It's going to be uh, in first, Perez, Alonso, Leclerc, Verstappen, Sainz, Russell, Stroll, Hamilton, Us, Alcon, Gasly, Bottas, Hockenberg, Norris, Sargent, Max, Piastri, Albon, De Vries, and Sonoda as we make our way to five red lights then for the Austrian Grand Prix. It's lights out and away we go. It's a decent start for us. Alcon actually gets a pretty good start off of us. We actually have to cut him off there. And uh, in the end of it, Gasly actually tries to come on and so we're going to go to the outside and try to go around the outside of Lewis Hamilton. It actually works out pretty well for us and that sees us up into P8. Here we got Russell and Stroll going side by side. A couple guys going 2x2 two two up ahead of us. Now make our way then towards turn 3. Hamilton is going to try to come back at us. He's going to try to go to the inside. We're going to defend the inside instead. Send it on the inside of both Stroll and Russell. We get a bit of a corner cut penalty though, unfortunately. That's going to compromise our run down towards turn 4 here. Stroll's to look for the move around the outside, we're gonna pretty much let him by, although give him a bit of a squeeze there as he forces his way then up to P7. Russell tries to come up our inside, he's gonna squeeze, he's gonna find the way through uh, uh, that very small gap we gave him. He almost got P7, managed to break just about later than him, and managed to hold P7 for now. Taking a nice clean run through these next two corners here and trying to stick then with Monstro, even though that Aston Martin is miles ahead when it comes to pure race pace compared to the Alpha Romeo. We are staying ahead of George Russell for now. At the moment, five tenths ahead. I don't know if he's going to be trying to make a move anytime soon here. Making it way through the corners and, uh, well, we made a kind of a hash of that last sequence of corners here. Russell could be potentially having a move here. It's Toa. I don't really want him to be going for a move. He's going to try to go for it regardless though. Stick it to the outside, taking a nicer line through there. And actually it works out pretty well for us as Russell, I think, got tightened up there on the apex and now that means he's dropped back to about a second and a half compared to us and we have closed the gap ever so slightly then two long stroll as we make our way towards turn three then for the second time taking a nice run well i tried to take a nice run from there but we got a corner cut penalty in the process there that's going to bring russell back into contention and luckily no drs until the first two laps of this grand prix so we should be okay for now as we make our way down down towards turn four we missed the apex a little bit but we do mesh the car on the track there, and we can live to fight another day here. Stroll, two seconds of pet on the road. Uh, Russell is eight tenths behind. He is looking pretty fine, I must say, in that Mercedes. Although Hamilton, I don't know where he's at. He, I think he's a little bit farther behind. I think he might be right behind George. So Mercedes not having the greatest day around the Red Bull ring. Meanwhile, Paris is 
dominating out in front. He is, well, I, I don't know how far ahead he is, but he's having a decent race up there, bringing home the victory so far then for the Red Bull team. I think Nicola to start the final lap then of the Austrian Grand Prix. Uh, Russell still behind us here. We're going to try our best to defend as we make our way through We get actually a very nice run there through that sequence of corners. Pretty much open a second up on him as we make our way down towards turn three. We're actually up towards turn three. This is a big uphill section. And uh, we can really use that uphill to our advantage. Breaking late, getting the car turned and get on the power nice and early here. And we make our way down towards turn four. Stroll just up ahead. He is two and a half seconds ahead, so we are not going to be catching him anytime soon during this last lap then unless you have any massive mistake or whatever though anything can happen never say never in Formula 1 eh uh, Russell he is about 5 6 tenths behind us so he's still keeping the pressure on us but we are keeping our head cool for now but anything can happen in this final stage if we make our way into the last sector Russell is all over us here so we gotta be careful where we place our car into the final two corners and Russell is right behind us he's gonna be trying to make a move up the inside we're gonna defend the inside line here successfully go back to the racing line Turn into the corner. He tightens up on the apex. That's going to give us some nice breathing room then into the final corner. We're going to come across the line and take P7 then in the Austrian Grand Prix. Paris wins though the Grand Prix ahead then of Leclerc, Verstappen, Sainz, Alonso, and Stroll. We do come ahead though of Russell, Hamilton, and Gasly. Thank you all so much for watching. If you guys did enjoy, definitely make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel. And I will see you guys in the next episode. Goodbye, everyone.